Okay, so we are in copper cube. Let me just show you this level I've been working on. Okay. Right, as you can see. This is a level I've created in copper cube. We just walk over to the building. Okay, right. Here you can see there's some shadowing there on the walls but there's a bit of a bug that is why I want to show you in this video what's happening I have this shadow on the floor this is a effect I created in Kim it's not a directional light or a any other point light okay so I'm gonna show you guys now I just want to take you guys on a, a walk through what's going on we are also going to Kim I'm gonna show you um, how I created this shadow mask in Kim okay so I want to drop the frame rate in copper cube in the games I'm trying to find out new solutions new ways that we can implement in our environment that it doesn't take so much of the VRAM and the RAMs the system uh, 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 capability is dropping drastically so yeah I'm gonna show you guys let me just exit the level I'm gonna go to the top view can you guys can see I'm gonna just hide um, let me go to the plane that is the terrain and then we also have this um, mesh as you can see here in the hierarchy there's a mesh that I created in GIMP I'm gonna show you guys let me just hide it so you can see it properly there you go you see it's transparent also I added some transparent alpha channel on it so if I change it or I put it on solid there you can see okay um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a video on how I make my textures my shadow mask in GIMP so you guys need to follow this this tutorial video this is just the basic uh, uh, introduction of my level this is going to be uh, like a horror game so I need some shadows in that environment because every horror game is very dark it has a dark scenery so yeah maybe some of you guys have been wondering how you can add some shadow effects on your buildings and textures like this house for instance as you can see especially here under by the roof and there you can see here by the doors that I did that in GIMP okay it's also a plugin you can use this used to be a very nice house the textures that I downloaded I just added some some uh, color I changed the color and played around with the vintage plugin in GIMP and this is what this is the, the results I got so far but I'm quite happy so I did make a video a previous video on this topic like I said it's going to be a lot of videos I upload on this topic because it can go very far and it can help you guys also so I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna create another video so yeah please subscribe to my channel ring that notification bell icon so I can notify you when I upload the next video on this topic okay creating uh, effects shadow mask in Kim and importing it to your level in copper cube 6.5.1 thank you for watching guys and I hope to see you in the next video